What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply submenus and sub submenus into your WordPress website using the full site editor or block WordPress themes, okay? But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in order to use internet on a site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is navigate your WordPress dashboard. So login to your site. Normally it's your site.com, your site.net plus WP admin or WP login. Login to WP Dashboard and we're gonna be into a page almost like this one right here, okay? Review the left sidebar of menus and hover a mouse over appearance. Let's move to themes, okay? Submenu. Here is one example of a full site editor theme, the 2024. That is the theme that we're gonna be using for this guide, okay? And if you see the sidebar menus, under appearance we have an option called editor we're gonna click on it okay into the right sorry into the left sidebar of menus you're gonna be able to see a couple of options navigation style page templates and patterns okay so click on navigation okay because we are looking to edit the navigation menu on our site now there is this three little dots called actions and an option to edit this pencil icon. We're gonna click on the pencil icon, the edit button. So right here we're gonna be able to see our navigation menu, okay? And how to make the menu with submenus. We're gonna click into the first menu eating and from here we can see a couple of options. Next to both there is this option right here, add submenu, click on it. Now we're gonna click on add link. And you can search for any page of your site, for example, the about page. If you click into this plus button, you can add a new block to add another link. And you can apply another page. It can be, for example, the home page. And you can keep repeating the process until you have all the pages that you need into your submenu. After this, click into the upper right corner of your screen there is a blue button called save. We're gonna click on save, okay? In order to upload, update our chains. Now, imagine that inside the home submenu of contact us main menu eating, I would like to apply other submenus. So I'm gonna click on home and next to this option to apply a link, I'm gonna click on add submenu. And we can repeat the process once again. Let me apply another one. Let me save the change and let's review the result on our site. Now into the contact us, we have these three submenus and under home we have other submenus. Simple, easy and very effective. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the Visual Moto Bordless plugin. Check in widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg. Or Enzu, WordPress theme, the best free WordPress theme that you can install to customize your site in the way that you want. Or Growth.net platform, a place you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts. Or size.gallery, that is a place where we can submit your site, your app, your game. It's a CSS gallery to be awarded and promoted across the web. And in the case that you want to go premium while you're doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to your entire template library with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition for premium blocks, assets, tools, templates, plugins and many many more pro features to create the site of our dreams. And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.